Mmm, avocado toast. A simple, yummy, and delicious treat. But, um, it could use a little something. Ah, that's more like it. First things first, preheat the oven to 250 degrees. Is your country home to a massive unregulated plastic surgery industry? Well, the number you're looking for is 120 degrees Celsius. Now for this recipe, you're gonna need, duh, pork belly. I recommend going with at least two pounds of pork belly. So place our pork on aluminum foil, fat side up. Then let's season it with salt. Freshly cracked black pepper. And an old shaker shaker of cayenne. Once the pork is seasoned, wrap it up in aluminum foil. Then wrap it in another layer of aluminum foil so it doesn't spring any leaks. Then put it in an oven-proof baking dish. Finally take our pork and place it in the middle of our 250 degree oven and let it cook for four hours. Leave your entries in the subreddit pros and I'll watch once the four hours are up, take our pork out of the oven and immediately put it in the fridge. Oh, and uh, put it on a wooden cutting board so you don't burn anything. After a sleepless night due to unrepressed memories, it's the next day. Our pork belly has cooled down and it's ready to be handled nice and easily. Unwrap the pork belly. Remove the solidified fat. Cut the pork belly an inch thick lengthwise. Once the pork belly is cut up, move everything to the stove top. So take a medium sized saute pan and heat it up over medium high heat. So assume you didn't throw it away, toss in some of the solidified fat into the pan. When it starts to sizzle, place our pork belly into our pan, put a lid on top of it, let it cook for two minutes, flip the pork belly over, two minutes again. Oh, and a quick word on avocados. You want them to be nice and firm with a tiny bit of give. Just give a semi-firm squeeze, and if you feel a little bit of give, it's perfect. If they're pretty hard, let them soften up at room temperature for a couple days. If they're really soft like this when you buy them from the store, toss them in the fridge immediately to stop the softening process. And those are my tips on handling testicles. I'm dead serious, that's where the name comes from. Once the pork belly's done frying, you can customize your avocado pork belly any way you want. Me, I'm just gonna keep things simple and top it off with a little Tabasco sauce. And since I unwussified avocado toast, will you old timers please stop telling my generation about how they're ruining everything. Probably should not have done this with a knife in my hand. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning at this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, hit the bell notification icon and subscribe. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Oh, and... Okay, fine. Damn, give me a piece. Stop whining. Dogs.